There's the breakfast in Plus TV Africa. We we'll take you through the pages of our dailies as always at this time and open up on Qataria. It's on standby. He joins the conversation via Zoom. It's good to have you join us this morning. Open up on Qataria. Good morning, Messi, and good morning, Kofi. Good morning, Nigeria. All right, let's take a look at the leadership newspaper this morning on uh, the front page of the leadership newspaper. It's boldly written, 2023 postponement of APC presidential screening on Settle's aspirant. That's what you find underneath. No new date for exercise yet as president meets with aspirant on Wednesday. Jonathan's name pops. Uh, according to this uh, ride, it says it pops up again in APC presidential permutations. May get parties weaver to run. Southeast presidential aspirant meet in Abuja and forge alliance. Any breach during party primaries will invalidate entry process. <laughs> INEC ones. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very excited about how INEC is very stained. Uh, you know, with their position on the situation. Again, you have four killed in a quiet bomb bias as PDP holds reps and state house assembly primaries. That's another caption you find on the leadership. Electoral, A Electoral Act, APC stalking crisis to stall 2023 elections. That's what the PDP is saying. Can holds peaceful protest in state FCT. Uh, the death of Deborah Yakubo. That's what you find here. And farmers worry over insecurity, climate change orders as planting season begins. Um, you know, climate change, are we in control? And over insecurity, are we in control? These are some of the questions uh, we probably need to answer. Nigeria did not endorse the OECD minimum corporate tax agreement. Federal government appoint Chukunwa Yere uh, as acting accountant general. Forensic audit presidency stops unexpected NNDC project. The headlines this morning on the leadership. Let's switch over to the nation newspaper this morning with the uh, big one there. Drama clashes, upsets. Uh, as so at uh, PDP reps assembly primaries drama clashes upsets at PDP reps assembly primaries with a writer opposition party to pick senatorial candidates today more from the nation newspaper APC insists on screening Jonathan Emefiele Ingige it's a case of um, will you scream me by force <laughs> so is this a by force screening or what anyway APC insists on screening Jonathan Emefiele Ingige. Details on page five. Uh, gunmen kill four kids, mom, two others. Police station raised. Um, this should be somewhere in the southeast, if I'm not mistaken. Details on pages two and four. Four bodies recovered in collapsed building in Lagos. Lagos Arewa community okays Okada restriction. Interesting one there. Firms, businesses await CBN's decision on rates. We're talking about the monetary policy rate or the interest rate set by the Monetary Policy Committee, the MPC. And uh, at the bottom of that front page, ex-convict returnee held for importing cocaine. Ex-convict returnee held for importing cocaine and can protest killing of Deborah. Finally, someone uh, seems to be speaking up. Uh, about that. Those are headlines on the front page of the nation. So you have a lot of uh, interesting headlines on the Nigerian Tribune, but we take them as we can. Uh, the bold caption says, APC again about screening of presidential aspirant. It probably might just be dominating all of the headlines uh, or front pages of a national daily this morning. Now, on Donate Omai Okorocha, or the Sikh party to concede presidential ticket to Southeast. NAS governor asper or governorship aspirant angry with the APC National Working Committee. Demeji Bankale canvasses modified consensus to decide APC's candidate. And uh, 
Naira slides to 610 per dollar at parallel market. Some people say 611. And what's the difference? One Naira. Uh, exchange rate gap widens to 191 Naira. As to strike security tightened at international airport. And Saludo places 10 million Naira bounty on killers of an Amber lawmaker. Nigerian dealers tend to accidented car for profit. You also have the Arawa community direct members to obey Okada ban. You also have another caption saying Kairos suspension cancellation characterized the PDP primaries and can our CCG overseer demand justice for Deborah Say no to killing of Christians. Electoral Act. Five reasons Buhari has not signed amendment. President uh, pressured to delay signing for tenure elongation, PDP alleges. Amendment to Electoral Act on delegate illegal. Falanois quoted, it can be done, says Ubani. Uh, we just move away. Uh, we have more interesting headlines. We just stick this one. Primaries, loyalty 2019 experience pushing... Uh, Mohammed Bala ahead of orders, uh, the PDP members quoted to say, but that's the much we can take this morning on the Nigerian Tribune. And we'll round it off with a look at the headlines on the front pages on the front page of the Punch this Monday morning. The big one there, governorship primaries, crisis rocks rivers or your Benwe APC factions, uh, APC rather, factions rejects delegates list. Crisis Rocks, Rivers, Oyo, Benwe APC, Factions Reject Delegates List. And the writers to that headline, Process Skewed in Rivers, No Delegates Election in Benwe, Factional Leaders in Adelabu, Fulari Factions Produce Two Delegates Lists in Oyo, Await NWC's Verdict. Nigeria loses 2.2 trillion Naira revenue to all production delays, according to report. Details on page 27. Subscribers kick as FG slams 90 billion Naira new tax on phone calls. How about that? Details on page 27. Nigerians spend $22 million on foreign education in three months, is according to report by the Central Bank of Nigeria. We've frozen accounts of 50 firms operating loan apps, FCCPC Boss. And uh, at the bottom of that front page, the following headlines, Deborah protesting Abuja, Kaduna, Benue, Plateau, Oshu churches, defy government ban, condemn Django justice. And well, government have such a ban. Reps summon minister as agency auctions 2 billion naira assets for 13.6 million naira talk about shikini money that's a classic example there details on page 35 children at risk of severe monkey pox cases ncdc ondo moteku naps 4000 suspects says crime reducing and we have a final few headlines at the bottom of that front page Wiki Jitri Dagogo is contesting governorship. Rivers PDP may not have candidate for election, according to lawyer. And Mechanic Union X chairman assaults two Lagos panel beaters. Victims go dumb. Um, and one killed as violence. Parallel polls, Ma PDP primaries. The paper said four. I think it was the Tribune or the leadership that said four. And the punch is saying. One. Let's now turn our attention uh, to our guest analyst for this morning, Opunabo Inko Taria. Miss Inko Taria, thanks for your time. Uh, I, I think I can uh, predict, like Nostradamus, which story will most interest you on the front page of the Punch newspaper. So let's start from that. Um, <laughs> a lawyer uh, claiming that uh, yes, on uh, whom you know well, is Jitri. Over Farada Gogo's contesting the governorship uh, election and says Rivers PDP may not have a candidate for that election. Is this can, is this possible? Well, first, let me make an observation. I just wish my beards are going to be as black as they are on the screen. That would have been very beautiful. 
Honestly, um, <laughs> we'll, we'll try it up. <laughs> um, I must tell you, have, can you hear me, please? Loud and clear. <laughs> okay, yes. I must tell that you, your question is if uh, the PDP is going to have or participate in the general election in 2023, is it? Yes, if the lawyer's prediction is, is, is uh, possible. Well, yes, there is that likelihood uh, because uh, if they go to court challenging the arrest and detention, which to me is illegal because the Federal High Court in Abuja had restrained the security agencies, the governor, the attorney general, and co. Uh, from arresting Farah Dagogo before a puny court, that's a, an inferior court, which is a magistrate court order this arrest. I mean, that was so ridiculous, and especially coming from a governor who himself is a grey wig, a very senior member of the bar. So this will tell you that the whole thing has been orchestrated because they are scared of Farah uh political clout, uh, which they have even added to by his arrest. It wasn't completely necessary. Fire that Google has been arrested and detained on trumped up charges. He was not there on that day. If he had gone through the charge list, they did not also accuse him of coming into that venue with dogs. Those who were arrested and in detention also said they were not they are the behest of Fire Dagogo and so on. So you could see some level of conspiracy. And you have denied him his right, robbed him uh, his right of uh, screening and contesting. And this is in, uh, in contravention of the Constitution. And so if the lawyers should go to court and they can canvass these issues and the court is pleased and satisfied that what, it, what they did to Farah Dagogo, because it will start from the High Court, the Court of Appeal, and the Supreme Court, that what they did to Farah Dagogo was illegal and they denied him his right, of course the court will say no, will insist on his right, and what does that mean? If they say the screening is passed, then it's the father that go go with one of his girls will be, then there should be no primaries for the PDP, because he has been robbed of his rights, you know? So many issues could arise, uh, therefore. So uh, it, there is possibility, although it is subject to uh, the court's pronouncement, but there is a strong possibility that if they take this matter to court, I want to believe that uh, there might not be primaries or elections, rather, in uh, uh, the PDP might not participate in the forthcoming general elections. Unless the court will also say that uh, anybody could be robbed, could be denied his right, it doesn't matter, let the elections go. Well, yeah, these things have reached our jurisprudence, so we are going to hear. It's another novelty, and let's wait uh, to hear what the guy strongly believe that the issue of his participation, which is quite distinct from his arrest, will be subjected to the clinical prognosis of the legal law. And a judicial pronouncement will be made on that. And we'll take it from there. Not just at the High Court, not just at the Court of Appeal, but it will get up to the Supreme Court. Uh, most of us don't have confidence in most of these High Court judges because uh, most of these governors influence their appointment, influence their judgment, and to a very large extent, uh, judgments are being procured. So we look at the Court of Appeal and the Supreme Court. Let's take a quick look at the Nigerian Tribune this morning. It talks about the president and not signing the Electoral Act. I mean, a lot of thoughts have been put out. Some people have also uh, said that the reason for all of this is so that, you know, it might just be for the personal interest of the president, a elongation of his tenure. And uh, you also have all the quotas saying that it's actually desperate APC leaders behind a delay by the president in signing the amendment to the Electoral Act 2022 to frustrate the conduct of the primaries by political parties. So a lot's going on. But what do you make of all of this, I mean, thoughts that have been put out this morning? Please correct me if I'm wrong. I think the new Electoral Act principally, the amended Electoral Act principally has to do with the inclusion of certain delegates. I think that's principally what it has to do. I don't know if uh, there are other substantive issues in the amended electoral act awaiting uh, the president's uh, uh, signature. Uh, and if that is the case, I don't, I don't see how that is going to elongate the tenure of Mr. President. I don't think so. I don't think there's really anything in that electoral act that will elongate the tenure of Mr. President. 
In any case, the president cannot, it can, nothing can even elongate his tenure. That is the truth about it because the tenure of the president is constitutional. And unless you amend the constitution, you cannot extend the tenure of anybody in office. If that tenure is within the cognizance of the constitution, you can't extend it. So I don't, I don't subscribe to such arguments. Of course, people will come up with all some kinds of ridiculous arguments. And this politics is like Facebook. Most times you go to Facebook or you go to the social media. And most, you, apart from the grammar, the semantics, and so on, if you if you go through the logic of the argument, you begin to wonder if most of these people came from space or whatever. You know. So I don't think that has to it has to do with that. Now if there is so much pressure so that uh, you can have certain persons uh, participate as delegates. It's like the National Assembly members, um, even the governors, the presidents, their deputies, and so on. Right now, they are not automatic delegates. So that, because they are going to be robbed of that right, a lot of them are angry, they are incensed, because there are also advantages of being uh, an automatic super delegate. There are so many, I mean, the advantages are numbers. And so they are not happy, and that's why they are mounting all kinds of pressure on Mr. President to sign the Electoral Act. Uh, that does not in any way, whether it signs or not, will affect the tenure of the present administration. Come May 29, the administration will leave office. It's as simple as that. Willy nilly, it will leave office. Otherwise, there will be serious crisis that will lead to the extinction of the country called Nigeria. Especially right now that the tenure negotiations have been so threatened so threatened that any slight mistake on the part of the government will lead to the extinction of this country because it will lead to anarchy. All right, uh, let, let's go back to the, the front page of the Punch newspaper, uh, Mr. Nkutaria, uh, to look at the uh, the Khan protest that held across the country on Sunday. Uh, churches in Abuja, in Kaduna, in Benue Plateau, Oshun states are among the states that um, uh, defied state government's ban. Uh, on rallies in their domain to protest uh, the killing, the recent killing of Deborah Yakubu, uh, that one on the front page. You can see on the front page pictures uh, of uh, protesting um, members of the public, you know, with placards bearing inscriptions like, Stop the killing, God is watching, let's be our brother's keeper. Uh, don't defend the indefendable or indefensible. Let's live together in peace. Um, your thoughts on this? Uh, um, well, some would have expected that there would have been an outpouring of protests around the country, it's even in, at least in the, in the majority Christian South. But uh, we're not seeing that. And the Christian Association of Nigeria has had to call on Christians to protest yesterday. You see, I, uh, when I when I when I. When I bent my, or should I, should I say, let me not say, when I upload my mind on this issue, most times people say, oh, well, you're becoming a uh, But the truth about it is that, yes, we welcome the protest. I agree. We're protesting the uh, murder, the death of Deborah, Christians all over. But it's not just about uh, Christians. It has to do with humanity. That's what we should be talking about here. Yeah. Even if they had done that to a Muslim, who would have protested. But the difference is that, one, you dare not do it to a Muslim because of the consequences. You are, we, are, we are scared. I don't want to say Christians to a very large extent are cowards. I'm a Christian, and my name is even Christian. That they know will tell you I'm a Christian. I'm also a knight. But to a very large extent, Christians are cowards, and they hide under the issue of forgiveness, uh, vengeance is mine, says the Lord, and all those kinds of words. But even in heaven, the Bible says uh, the kingdom of God suffers violence, and the violence takes it by force. Until, look at what is happening with the court trial now. They must have threatened the, judge, the magistrate, one day never to sit. And on the day they were to hear that matter, the magistrate was not there. The, what do they call the so-called uh, accused, they were nowhere to be found. This is what is good. They are going to employ this Fabian policy until one year, two years, and eventually nothing will happen. It was on this very program the last time I said, I blame Mr. President, and Messi was saying, why would you have to blame the president? You have the governor, you have this year. No. 
this is something that has taken international dimension. Even in civilized crimes, where people are like John Floyd, they did not they did not just allow the governor of that state to handle the matter. The president of the United States got involved. What I expected Mr. President to do, yes, I agree with the protest, but that is not enough. That will not suffice. What I expected Mr. President to do in Africa was to order the institutional of police to move in. And within seconds, first they must arrest those involved because they did not hide their faces. They must get them detained, arrest them, and the president must let the judge that he's interested in this matter. And while the president is interested in this matter, I tell you, a seditious hearing will be given to him. And the Nigerian, we are not saying go and kill them. If they wanted to kill those, he, those uh, 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 murderers, you tell me the court has not pronounced them, but I call them murderers. We'll go to court. If Kofi, you are not today, and I say you're a thief, I'm sure you, I'll call you a thief. Let the court say you're not a thief. So I can, I, you can say they are murderers until the court says otherwise. So let this murderer be detained. And because I would have opted for those same characters, Honestly, I'm telling my God, because I've said this before, I would have preferred if they were killed immediately, where they killed the border. If they were killed, fine, they, they escaped. It. Let them be arrested, detained, and let the trial be open. To a very large extent, it's going to come to a To a very large extent. Because this protest will lead to nothing. You are protesting at the end of the day, these so called characters are sitting down, so we are laughing at you. Tomorrow again, they commit another war, then you protest. The day after they commit, you protest. The one is to protest. The other is to commit a crime. Who loses? Who suffers? Nothing. How many states in the country even went down? How many states? How many Christians in the states went down? You can count them. The girl has just died and died for her family. Nothing has come out of it. So my own solution to most of this problem, you kill one Christian, you kill one Muslim. Mm, that is it. Uh, I'm very sorry to say, you kill a Christian, you kill a Muslim. No, please, 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 please. Yeah, like I said, Mr. Mr. Gutari, are, are, are you are you saying who, are, are you are you are you calling? Yeah, just, like just to understand you what you're saying, Mr. Gutari, are you are you saying that? Oh, but I'm going please. Are you are you saying that people should take? Oh, but just a question from you, sir. Are you saying that that Nigerians should take the law into their hands? Uh, okay, let me, let, me, okay let, me ask you, let me ask you a simple question. Let me ask you a simple I'm question. I'm just asking, is that what you're uh, saying, uh, sir? Kofi, let me ask you a simple question. When an armed robber invades your home, do, do, you, do you wait for the police to come? Or, or at that point, do, don't you take the law? Yeah, Mr. Are, so are, 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 you, are you saying... Is this not the defense? No, Mr. Uh, sorry, are, you, are you condemning killing, you know, uh, and, and, and assassination, murder of innocent people in its entirety, or are you saying that when one wrong is committed um, by whoever, maybe Muslims uh, kill a Christian, that Christians should go carry uh, stones and go and stone a Muslim? No, no, see no, anywhere, no, 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 anywhere. no, no, okay, let me, let me make this clarification. I just want to be sure. Let me make this clarification. I get, I get the gist of your question. You know, very soon we won't have time. So let me make this clarification. I get it. Kofi, wait, I get the gist of your question. Let me make this clarification. The point I'm making is simple. I'm not saying go and kill Muslims. Or if a Christian is killed by a Muslim is killed by a Christian, a uh, grand killed Christian. No. That person that committed that crime should be killed. That's the point I'm making. By, 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 by the law. The by the law. Not that you should go and kill the whole Muslim, you go and kill the whole Christian. You know what right. I'm saying? This, so, eh? so, 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 I, 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 are, you, are you saying that, are, are you saying it should be done extrajudicially? We live in a country where the rule of law is killed and administration of justice round this of battle. You cannot look in this matter. You can have to get justice. We don't believe. I, 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 I would like. I would like to anymore. believe you. Are, you're not saying just, just for clarity's sake, Mr. Gutara. Look at you yeah. can hear an imam. You can hear an Abu Jamal justifying the killing. So, so I, I, I want to be sure, Okunaboy Gotari, I want to be sure that you're not asking for for more extrajudicial killings. I want to be sure that you're not asking for more extrajudicial killings. That you're saying. That yes, you want whoever is is um, guilty of this killing, committed the crime, to be given the death penalty within 
a legal process, not extrajudicial killing. Am I correct, sir? Now listen to me now, please. I am the one talking. Excuse me. Listen. I just want what to I'm understand you. Yeah. The clarity of what I'm saying to penetrate your mind and the catch of the... Excuse me. Now you have, you have this magistrate not sitting. He must have been threatened. This other person is not taking the court. This matter will be adjourned and adjourned and adjourned. And justice will not be served. You have a professor of law leading 34 other lawyers to defend this gruesome murder. Okay. You have an imam, Abuja Imam, justifying it. Blasphemy is a sin against God. So, so, so are, are you are you advocate? I, I just want to be sure, uh, 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 just to be sure. Are, are you advocating this is for? Uh, yeah, so Obunabo I, I just want to be simple. sure, sir. Yeah, just just to be sure. Are you advocating for extrajudicial action? Is that what you're advocating for? Because. Let us also carry out that jungle. Oh, okay, all right. So, 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 so now, now we understand that you are you are asking for for jungle justice. Um, uh, we would like to inform you, Mr. Gutierrez, that we would we would usually use uh, a platform to promote you know actions that are carried out within the ambit of a law, and um, we would want to encourage the public to embark on any action outside the law, any extra judicial action, you, you would agree with me, Mr. Ngotaria, that we're trying to, to reduce the, the increasing spate of extrajudicial, I won't even call it extrajudicial or, or jungle justice, because there's no justice there, of mob attacks and lynching. And um, I believe that you as a Christian do not believe in an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. You know, I also believe that you're, you don't believe in, um, in two wrongs making a right. So we're trying to reduce the incidences of lynchings in the country, and we'll always preach that people should allow the law take its course. I, I think you agree with me, uh, Mr. Ngotara, if you're still there. Yeah, I'm with you. Completely, mm -hmm. I'm fully with you. Yes, yes. So, so we wouldn't want people to listen to our, um, our, our conversation this morning and be incited to go you know, attack anybody because they can say, well, I can't go to Sokoto, but I know um, Mustafa, who lives on uh, Ligari or in Oniru, let me go and kill him. We don't want to have that. So I, I, I believe that that's not what you're saying, sir, and that you would like to see people act within the ambits of the law, not lynch. Yes, I believe in deep compassion. Yeah. You know why most times a lot of people, you know why most times a lot of people get to the extreme? You see, in as much as I completely agree with what you have just said, your position, but the whole essence of this is to bring some level of awareness and also educate the masses and including the government. You know why a lot of people get to the extreme? Because they have lost confidence in our judicial system. That's the truth about it. They have lost confidence in our judicial system. At the end of the day, these characters will get six months imprisonment. Is that enough without penance? Nothing can penance. Nothing can bring back the life. But there is some level of sentence you give that would be well as they pacify this person. So, so are you, you calling? Are you calling? Are you calling on government? Are you calling you on government? This, this magistrate, not we, we need yes. to move so, away. So, from so, from so, are you so, calling so, on the so, government to give to move the away maximum? From this now. Are you calling on government to give the this maximum penalty to create a serious crisis in this country if it is not addressed? All right, um, all right. So, we have, we have, we have, to, we have to move on to the I next call on Mr. President. If Mr. Yeah. President works into this matter, we are going to step up all this crisis we are talking about. All right, all right. So, 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 so Mr. Mr. Gutaria, Mr. Gutaria, Mr. Gutaria, I, 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 I believe, I believe, I believe, yeah, Mr. Gutaria, sorry to interrupt you, but I believe that you are, you, you are, you understand. Open up, open up, open up, open up, please, 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 please. It happens in this country. Mr. Gutaria, I believe you understand, you understand the importance of, of, of media and the, the role that we have and the, the impact that we can have on our society. And I believe that you wouldn't want to see the situation get worse. You know, because if we have reprisal attacks and if we have reprisal killings, then it's going to descend into a civil war. And I know that you wouldn't want to see that because you always preach against that. So what we are calling on is for people to stay back and allow the law take its course. But I believe that you are saying that those who have committed the crime 
must pay for it with a maximum and the full force of the law and no Open one bank, must, must be let off loose. I believe that's what we're saying. So we move on to the next, the next headline. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let's yes. move on. Let's yes. move on. So um, um, just before we call it a wrap this morning on The Breakfast, uh, on the paper review, let's take a look at the Nigerian Tribune. It talks about the EPC again aborting or abort screening of presidential aspirant. What are your thoughts on this? The APC is a confused political party. Every day if they met in one crisis or the other, always land in the morass of procedural policies, issues, and what have you. I, I, it is so sad because what I cannot understand is why will you call for extension of the primary deadline? Why will you abort screen? What is the problem? What is the problem? I never gave you a deadline a year before. You all, you should be prepared. Even if the aspirants are 100, you should be prepared. After all, you are the party, the party benefiting because they pay 100 million naira. Presidential aspirants pay 100 million naira. So if you have 100 persons, it is times how many? I've said it before, I don't know mathematics. So do the, do the calculation. Kofi could help us because I also heard that you're not good in maths. So let's go with <laughs> the calculation. <laughs> That's what well, I like well, well, so You I might not be mistaken you know? about me because my father was uh, a <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, go on, Upino, go on. Okay. No, I read, like I said, that on the light channel. But having said this, you know, uh, the fact is, I don't think the APC is actually ready. What the APC wants is to forge itself using the advantage of having a sitting president and forge itself on the country. I don't think the APC is ready. It's the how the picture, the schism is so much. So why? So why? And after the primaries, I tell you, a lot more will happen. The, 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 the division will be, will be worse than it is right now. Because some will even leave the party, some will play anti-party and so on. So it's a body of confused politicians. That is the problem the APC is having right now. That's just the truth. Uh, why are you standing? Why are you standing the date for the screen of a bed? Or what is the or what, what is the reason? And what if you have a reason? What if you have a, 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 a if you give a reason then what how do you justify it? What's the justification for that? But let's also look at, I'm just we quickly, as we call it a wrap this morning, I mean, as we move move away from the paper review, um, you have a writer saying that Umahi, Okorocha and others are asking that the party concedes the presidential ticket to the South is. How can this thing be, or how can this thing be? <laughs> that is a fleeting illusion. That is a, for now, that is a fleeting illusion. If you, if you take on that advisement, uh, what is going on right now in the country? I mean, yes, that ordinary would have been the proper thing because the South has not produced. And the red light is going to placate them, it's going to pacify the South. No doubt about that. But those in authorities, are they going to agree? They are also going to be scared that if they give it to the South, then <laughs> what the uh, other countries could, could, could be, I don't want to say, uh, face certain consequences. Kofi has told me not to divide the nation, so I want to choose my words. But <laughs> I've not said that. Uh, I don't think it's going to be given to the Southeast. I have my doubts that it's going to be zoned to the Southeast. They will just tell you South. I think the Southeast can get the fight, but there will also be a conspiracy against the Southeast. Yes, this I can tell you. Because of the agitation from the Southeast. I don't want to go further so that Kofi does not accuse me of uh, trying to divide the nation. Kofi, I hope. You are satisfied with this one now. So uh, uh, you, 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 you're, you're doing very well. You're doing very well. Are you okay now? Yeah. You're doing very well. <laughs> but they will not want to give it to the Southeast. They will not want to give it to the Southeast. That's the truth about it because of the agitation from the South. All right. So they will not want to give it to the South. All right. So you should come to the South, but not the Southeast. Okay. I can tell you that. Okay. Mr. Sure. Gutara, we have to go. Uh, thank you for, for, for understanding with us and uh, for doing your best, you know, to, to unite the nation. Probably, you know, deserve a Nobel Peace Prize, uh, but we'll be we'll be uh, looking for <laughs> we'll be looking forward to having you again on on the breakfast. And thank you so much for your time. It was my pleasure. Good morning. Good morning. Right. Well, that's the size of it. Uh, we'll definitely return tomorrow with uh, the press of the press. I mean, uh, taking you through the pages, the national dailies, front pages to be precise, and also having a guest share his thoughts on the issue. Great analysis coming your way. 
but we'll step on the brakes when we return it will be time for us um, to look at our major conversation but before then let's tell you what happened today in history stay with us <laughs>